Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. And another volatile week last week. We had the queues um, rip up here, get all excited in a new high territory, collapse, and then end the week exactly at snow line resistance. If we look over here, this is the average true range. You can see that the average true range here continues to expand, which just means we're getting more volatile. But even within the context of the last couple of weeks, to the downside, we're typically staying within one to two ATRs away from the mean. You can see we got down to two ATRs here. And then to the upside, we've hit um, three ATR here only once this quarter. But, you know, for the, for the most part here, you just want to kind of keep in mind like, okay, so here's the mean. That's the average price. If we get too far away from it, we come back to it. If we get too far away from it to the downside, we come back to it. Okay, so we're kind of poised early this week to go either way. Um, just keep in mind with the way this market is working is if the first couple of weeks are strong, we'll look for then a couple of days where we come back to the mean. Okay, and if the first couple of days are weak, we'll look for a couple of days where we come back to the mean, which means we want to, you know, if we're playing some stocks that are kind of following this, that we want to keep in mind that it's going to move with the market. So you can see that Apple here, with Apple was a, in a pretty tight range as we headed into earnings. Okay, so here's the mean. We got one ATR away. We came back to the mean. All right, we got one ATR away to the downside. We came back to the mean. And this happened until there were earnings. And now, guess what? We're back at the mean. Okay, so on something like this, in this kind of environment, the main thing is, is just kind of curbing expectations. Like, oh, no, we're not looking for the stock to break out and make a new all-time highs. You know, we're looking for the stock to go from $128 to, you know, maybe 132 if things get crazy, but then for it to kind of start moving back to the mean. Okay, so that helps us with strategy. That helps us decide if we're gonna be you know, selling calls or selling puts or buying calls and, and not holding on to them too long, okay? All right, so another thing that we wanna look at on something like this too is kind of compare, say, Apple to what other stocks are doing. So one concept in this type of environment that worked really, really well is the whole concept of pairs trading, okay? And what pairs trading is, is simply you find two stocks, okay, so here's Facebook and here's Apple, and essentially you're long one and short the other. And there are gonna be days when um, one, you know, one going up is, is gonna make profits and that's gonna offset the losses going down, right? But the idea, in this case, the idea of pairs trading is that the one going up is going up a greater percentage than the one going down. So you end up net net making money on it. And then sometimes what happens is that you'll have uh, in some cases where it's like, wow, I've got one here that's going up. And while that one's going up, the other one's going down and you're making money on both. OK, but ultimately what happens is with a pairs trade is that you have what I call kind of a, a positive expectancy hedge, meaning that, yes, even though one's going up and one's going down, you're actually picking stocks in such a way that the one going up in this case would have a greater move than the one going down, okay? Or if the market collapses, the one going down is going to go down a greater degree than the one going up, and you're essentially just kind of hedged. And But it's hedged with a positive expectancy, meaning no matter what happens, you end up making a little bit of money on the trade. So anyway, that's a lot of fun if you've never done it before. All right, so if you've never thought about pairs trading or what it can mean for your portfolio or in terms of strategies, this is the kind of environment where you want to know. And this is the kind of environment where it makes the most sense. So Don Kaufman is going to be doing a free webinar on Tuesday, May 5th at 8 o'clock East Coast time. Okay, and it's going to be called Pairs Trading Strategies and Tactics. And what he's going to be talking about is essentially defining what pairs trading is. Introduction to trading long and short and creating a pair. Pairs trading in a neutral market, meaning the direction of the overall market does not affect its wins or loss. The basics of pairing products. The goal is to match two trading vehicles that are highly correlated, trading one long and the other short when the pair's price ratio, ratio diverges X number of standard deviations. Okay, and this is just, again, it may sound complicated, but once you go through the process, it's like, oh my gosh, that's a piece of cake. The whole idea of convergence versus divergence. What products can be paired together? Stocks, options, and futures can also be paired together. That's actually some of the stuff that I really like to do. And then look at a couple of setups and a couple of different stocks, for example, Walmart versus Target.
Okay, so anyway, if this is a concept that's new to you, this is a fascinating concept and a great tool for your trading arsenal. All right, again, a free webinar this Tuesday, May 5th, 8 o'clock East Coast time, and you'll see the link pop up right after this video.